Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is on vulnerability and transparency and why it's so important. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a while now but it recently came up in two separate conversations with a group of people and they shared some really awesome stuff that I thought I need to add this to the pointers for this video and also for me when I hear the same thing several times in a short period of time I think that that's something I either need to take on board for myself or I need to share with you guys which is what I'm doing today. Um, so what I mean by vulnerability and transparency is maybe talking about something in your past that you might find quite personal or sensitive or an experience that you're going through right now that you find quite challenging or difficult. It's basically being open about personal things that you wouldn't usually share with people. And being vulnerable and open with people is something that I've never really been great at and for some people that might be because they have a difficult time trusting people or the whole concept is just a little bit uncomfortable to deal with um, but for me personally I think it's more just because it's always been a part of my personality um, Like I love to have deep conversations about life and about people um, but when it comes to let's talk about Tracy and what she thinks about and you know what she finds difficult I kind of so that's where I start. But when I came to university, I really found the value in being vulnerable. So I remember before coming to university, I was just so excited because I'd finished my A-levels and I'd watched so many YouTube videos on my university experience and I was just this extroverted individual, so I thought I had my life together. Um, but I think I really underestimated just how much of a change university was and how much of a demand it puts on you in terms of social life, academic life, especially in first term. So I remember it came to about week six or seven of being in university and I was just so ill with a cold and these people were piling on the deadlines for assignments and I had just been doing the absolute most in terms of trying to get out there and socialise and I remember waking up one morning and I was thinking, nah mate, this is not my life, like this is not how I want to feel because I was just so overwhelmed and so drained and I remember picking up the phone and I was like, mum, this is how I feel, like help me and my mum is so amazing because she dropped everything, she dropped her work and she came straight to me, took me out to lunch and that was the first time I was happy to just talk about myself what I'd found good, what I'd found bad or challenging and she gave me some awesome advice and I remember leaving there feeling like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and even in the weeks before that um, I remember attending a society event by the Black Women's Project and it was just basically a gathering of girls and there was food and there was music and fun but there was really a space where people shared about their experiences at university, what they were currently going through and I left that event thinking Tracy you're gonna be okay, it's not all that bad and I think it's those two particular occasions that made me realise why it's so important to be open and vulnerable with people and so I'm going to share a couple of those reasons with you why and the first reason is that when you are vulnerable with people it allows them to give you a different perspective humans have this amazing ability where they can turn the most irrational and irrelevant thoughts into something that is serious and so true but there's something special about allowing somebody to look from the outside in where they take your focus away from something so small into looking at the bigger picture because sometimes we do just need people to say snap out of it because that's not what matters right now or I know you find this difficult but it's going to be okay you know from time to time we all need that person that gives us solid advice that shifts our perspective and secondly I don't think vulnerability always has to be followed up by advice sometimes all I need you to say is just me too. The BWP event was so comforting because simply by people sharing their experiences I got to find out that I'm not the only one who finds this challenging or stressful and that's why it made me feel like I'm going to be okay. Thirdly, being vulnerable helps to build stronger relationships whether that be in friendships, families, marriages because you never really know somebody until you really know somebody and I think there's something amazing about being able to say I trust you enough to tell you this and the other person responding with I'm happy that you trust me enough or are comfortable enough with me to share this and you know they always say that communication is so key to any kind of relationship and I think open communication is one of the most invaluable things that we can learn to do. Fourthly, one of the biggest reasons why so many people don't share their personal experiences is because they don't trust people and you know what, that's perfectly valid 
because sometimes you do have to look at does this person want to know about me because they genuinely care and actually want to help me or is it because they just want to know my business and naturally as humans when we can't tell the difference we say you know what I'm going to protect myself by never telling anybody anything um, but I remember being in a recent conversation where somebody shared about the fact that they never for a long time shared anything with anybody and soon that started to damage them because by closing every single person off they rejected even those people that genuinely wanted to help and somebody said that naturally as humans we can be so inconsistent with the love that we have for ourselves so when we are vulnerable and trust other people we allow them to kind of love us at the points that we have neglected ourselves and secondly is that Am I willing enough to take the risk because I love myself to want to help myself even if it means that you might disappoint me? And this is why vulnerability is not a sign of weakness because sometimes you're literally putting all your chips on the table and saying this is me, what do you think, how can you help me? And I think that is one of the most courageous things anybody can ever do. But at the same time we have to understand that there are levels of vulnerability and I think sometimes we have this thing where we think if I'm going to share this I need to share all of it but that's not always true. Not everybody needs to know everything about you and it's just that ability to decide who gets to know this, who gets to know that and sometimes all we need is just that one person where we share everything to and nobody else has to know. And lastly a good friend of mine shared this perspective that for some people there comes a point where they're so okay with being vulnerable and open about themselves that there is nothing that you can tell me about me that I don't already know and although I don't think that's something all of us will be able to reach I think it reflects so much courage and confidence for that individual that for me that is a quality that I I truly admire. So I really hope that this video helped you guys and I'm so happy that I got to share a little bit of my experiences and also be a little bit more vulnerable with you. Hopefully that is something that you also can start to practice. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.